You're watching the Final Fantasy Entertainment and Podcast Network, Final Fan TV. And here are seven characters that were introduced in Final Fantasy VII Remake that will most likely return in Final Fantasy VII Remake Part Two. And how? Number one, Roach. He almost certainly will return in Part Two. Most likely find him in Junin or possibly on the way to Junin, there's plenty of distance to be traveled from Fort Condor to Junin, so we might as well push it past the red line once more, my friends, and get there faster. If not before, well, how about during the parade? That would be a perfect spot for Roach's enthusiasm to flourish. Number two, the Wall Market Trio. That's three in one, look at me. I'm a very generous person on this list, the trio of Madam M, Chocobo Sam, and Andrea Rodea were such great additions to the world of Final Fantasy VII that I'm sure we will see them again. With Corneo on the run, the trio has probably taken over Wall Market. Or maybe just one of them has, and the other two leave Midgar to investigate Corneo's whereabouts. Which could possibly mean we will bump into them in Wutai or on their way to Wutai, but I think the gold saucer would be a perfect fit. Although, look, I'm not saying we need to see them return in part two either. I'm sure we will have a fair share of more new characters introduced. If they did take over Wall Market, they would be wonderful to meet again in part three when returning to Midgar. Number three, Leslie Kyle. I have pondered the thoughts of optional characters in Remake we know we are getting Yuffie, we know we are getting Vincent. I just don't think they're going to keep them as optional characters again, especially since we got Yuffie her own DLC. But what if, what if Leslie became an optional character? What if you could help him reunite with his fiance and in return, he joins the team? I don't know what he would bring to the team uh, as far as unique combat skills, but at the very least, if he's not a secret character, I would just really love that to be an optional quest to help him find his fiance. Number four, Zizhe. Introduced in intermission as the head of the new Avalanche branch. He carries a very important title, but he just did not get much screen time. He was last seen running away from Shinra officers. I think we could end up meeting him again in Fort Condor. This is also where I predicted we will meet Yuffie in this game. Uh, of course, this is a departure from the original Final Fantasy VII, but I think this location makes perfect sense for anyone who's on the run from Shinra to take refuge. Number five, your mom. Mother. Number six, Sonin. I know, I know. You're thinking, he died in intermission. Nero killed him. But did he? He was consumed by darkness. I personally hate my own idea here, but I think we will see Sonin again and possibly as a boss fight for us to beat the literal hell out of him and return him to his normal self. If that's the case, maybe we'll get more of him in Wutai and see him in a leadership role supporting Godo while Yuffie is away saving the world. I'm not ruling out the possibility of his return being made in a DLC to part two, similar to intermission involving more deep ground characters and related events. Number seven, Chadley. This is a no brainer. Chadley was such an important character shrouded in mystery in part one. He is the focal point of many fan theories, especially surrounding Hojo, Vice, and other Dirge of Cerberus canons. Once completing all of Chadley's optional quest, he tells Cloud he is finally free of his master's chains, and the future is uncertain, but a wonderful mystery. Cool. Yes, I am filming this from the waist up, because the ceiling is the only blank space I have. Thank you for watching.